Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Well, welcome to my Christmas winter Saturday. And as you can see, we are going to be starting this beautiful 14 count cross stitch that I got from New Craft Day this past week. And I'm going to be starting over here on this horse. And the color that I'm using is 3033. So I hope that y'all are doing well. And you can see what I'm doing here. We are trying to get everything together here. And of course I have my little Christmas wreath there. Oh, yeah. So, what's everybody up to? Are you doing anything fun this weekend? I hope. Yeah, not not much fun going on. I mean, fun, fun, like going somewhere, doing something exciting. Yeah, no. Just staying home. Ah. <sighs> I did stitch yesterday on my, uh, the cat and the poppies. And what else did I stitch on? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I can't remember. I think it was from VIP. You know how I got the four good size flower kits? You know, one was roses, one was tulips, one was peonies, and one was pansies, I think. Yeah, so I worked on the roses, and then it makes me wonder, oh, where's the peonies? Where's the pants? Where's this? Yeah. No, so. I just stitched on the roses. I stitched in the morning and in the afternoon. Got to sit in my rocking chair and look out the window, because the wind wasn't blowing 100 miles an hour, and I didn't expect anything to come flying through the window. That day that wind was horrible. Who was that? Not Friday. It was Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. It blew for four, three, four hours like that. 35 miles an hour. It's craps flowing around the yard. I was like, okay, time to take a nap. I got great faith in God. I'm, I'm going to just need a nap because it was horrible. I wouldn't even have been able to, to do a video because it was making so much noise. It was just outrageous. I got this new cover thing, you know, for the, uh, the table. And this stuff just kind of acts like it, it, everything just clings to it. Instead of, well, I guess I did, the whole point of getting it was so that you know the diamond painting or the cross stitch that I was working on was not going to slide all over the place well yeah it's doing its job then I guess right <sighs> yeah well I looked and looked for a color to start with that had enough symbols that I could you know talk my way through a video you know and there wasn't any, they're all shades of that white or off-white. And you get into colors once you get more into the, the horse. He's got that. So I'm sorry, I apologize for this. Ah, this off-white color. But then you start to get in a little blacks or a little gold and a little red. But it's further there and some days that's really hard to stitch in the center when you haven't done anything else. So we'll just start right here. And you know that whole background is that dark blue. I, I think it's 823. I, I can't remember. What can I say? So, yeah, no grand plans. I did talk to my daughter for about an hour. She, We were talking about how my granddaughter it's just petrified of Santa Claus. Like, my daughter took her last year. She was in second grade. Still believes in Santa Claus. Yep. And they went to go see Santa Claus. And, 
they were waiting, you know, for him to come out. And he came around the corner because he had to go do something. They were in somebody's, like, real estate office or something, you know, where they were going to have this. So they could take pictures, blah, blah, blah. And it was up, like, on the second floor. He came around the corner and he says, Hello, little girl. How would you like, you know, some a, a candy cane or something like that? You know, he's just being nice. She flipped out, ran down the stairs. She got to the bottom of the stairs, and it had one of those things that you push, like it's a bar you push to open. She couldn't open the door. Oh, my God. She kept banging on it, banging on it, banging on it. My daughter opened it, and she ran all the way to the car. She was done. She was over, right? I'm like, oh, God. Well, I hate to tell you this, but there's a craft fair this weekend. And the guest appearance by Santa Claus. And she goes, huh, really? Mm. Yeah, my daughter was pretty well done, too. Oh, geez. I guess she goes, I guess she believes in the cartoon Santa Claus. Because you get a real person dressed up like Santa Claus, she is out of there. So, she hasn't, I think, we think it's an actual phobia against Santa. I'm like, nothing ever really happened with Santa Claus. I don't get this. Yeah, I don't understand. Oh, jeez. I just laughed my ass off. Because I didn't go with her, see? You know, they were all on their own to go do this. Because, you know, my daughter just... Granddaughter talked her into, go, 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 yeah, everything will be fine. Mm -mm. I don't know who she was expecting to show up. Seriously. Then she told me this other little story. I thought it was absolutely hilarious. They were talking about how my granddaughter, when she was probably in, not pre they had to be old enough, so she was like in kindergarten, I guess. Kindergarten, first grade-ish. And they had, they went to Boys and Girls Club, and they had a guy there that was talking about the wilderness and how, you know, protect the animals and all that forestry stuff, you know, that kind of thing. And the guy asked the group that was there, you know, well, what do you do when you get lost in the woods? And, you know, does anybody know? And so, of course, my granddaughter pipes up. You know, she has her hand up, and he calls on her. And, and she's told him that you wait by a tree, and a unicorn will come and find you. Oh, my God. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Fast forward. They just had another person come from the wildlife. Oh, I don't know what it, it's Colorado life, wildlife. Just call it that. And they were talking about the same thing. Now she's nine, right? And she's been watching off and on just bits and snippets of one of those survival shows that's on TV somewhere on some channel. I have no idea, right? So course they ask again and what she told him was that you build a house and you catch animals and you dispose of them she said the big k word i'm not going to say that um dispose of them and eat them and you just live in the woods forever instead of you know trying to find your way out she was in survival mode and said yeah, she hasn't seen that whole thing in action, right? <laughs> no, not even so much as catching a fish. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty weird. Contrast from when she was in kindergarten to, to third grade, you know, she'd grown up and we're going to be in survival mode. Must have appealed to her. I don't know, but Amber says, that's my daughter. She's like, yeah, if she actually saw that in real life, there is no way in hell she would eat any of that. No. She wouldn't even want to participate. Yeah. She'd be ready to go home in no time. But I thought that was hysterical. The whole Christmas Santa, you know, I don't know. The kids are traumatized because they missed out in the middle, right in the middle of like going from preschool to kindergarten-ish. We had the big thing. And they couldn't, Santa didn't come that year, so to speak. I mean, he came at their house, but 
there was no place to go see Santa or get a picture taken. Because my daughter had been doing that up until from the time she was born to get in pictures. Yeah. No. So they got all messed up in their brains. So now they're really messed up. So I don't know. I got nothing. Oh, God. Kids. It's amazing what sticks with you for life, you know? I know I am petrified of, let's just call it animal, animals on the wall, if you will. And I think you can catch my drift with that because I am totally convinced, even at 66, that there is the rest of the whole animal behind that thing on the wall. Oh, yeah. I, I break out in a cold sweat. I just can't handle it. I, I got to leave. I just got to get away. So I understand the, the Santa Claus thing. But, I mean, I'm not terrified that he's going to get me. But, yeah. No, I, I don't know if, if the whole animal came out of the wall. We're done. I would just faint totally dead away right there on the ground. So, yeah, that's my big phobia. I could pet a snake. I could probably pet a bird if I had to. But that just totally undone does me. Now, if it's the whole animal, you know, we're good. But it's the not knowing where the rest of it is. And I realize that it's, I don't know. I, I've tried to convince myself and, and, you know, get past this in 65 years or 66 years. Oh, shit. Got to take that doodah thing off the end of the scissors. I'm like, oh, my God, what's wrong with them? Oh, geez. Yeah, I, I have not convinced myself. Yep. That, yeah. And I've never seen that all in action and how that all comes to transpire to be on the wall. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. No, maybe that would have helped. I, I don't know. No. No, I don't want to do it. No, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to pet it. Oh, God. We went to a yard sale, and my granddaughter was probably, oh, God. She was old enough to walk and talk, so maybe she was, like, four going on five. Yeah, we went to this yard sale, and it was at a big house, and you had to go inside because it was like an estate thing. It wasn't an auction, but an estate sale. So they had stuff inside on tables, and you got inside, and there was... All over the walls, everywhere you could see. And there was one just right by the stairs. I mean, I could have reached out and touched it. My granddaughter's walking around. Oh, can I pet him? Can I pet him? Grandma was like, I mean, I am breaking out in a cold sweat. I am ready to run down the stairs like she did on Santa. Yeah, because we had to walk up this long staircase to this, what do you call it? Uh, they had like a, what the hell? Like a balcony, what in the heck is it called? Yeah, like a balcony, like patio thing right off, you know, where you'd go into the, say, front room or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I was ready to fly down them stairs. I was ready to go five seconds after we got in the house and crawled up them stairs. If I'd have been able to breathe from crawling up the stairs, walking upstairs, you know, and carting her, you know, and... And my daughter and my grandson, yeah, oh, it was, yeah, made me kind of gun shy of yard sales lately, so, yeah, hmm. I don't even much want to see Dances with Wolves again, the part where, I don't know if you know that part, don't, don't sing out, just, just know it in your heart, yeah, about where he gets someplace and he's going to set up an outpost or whatever, and there's that lake, and there is an animal in the water. Oh, we're done. We're done. I'd have gotten on that horse and ridden a 500 miles away from that place. Oh, yeah. I'm just terrified. Just absolutely terrified. I can deal with all kinds of things, but that would not be it. That would be my undoing. Yep. Pretty much. Okay, enough about that. Let's get back to Crotch Stitch. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, because I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat talking about it. No, I'm fine. You know, that. don't those therapists say, you know, if you talk about your things and your fears and everything, you know, it'll get better? Mm. Here we are. 66 years later. No. Not at all. Mm-mm. So, we will have a review tomorrow. I'm trying to change the subject rapidly. Oh, gosh. But, uh, other than that, that's as much as I know ahead of time. <laughs> so, we'll see. We'll see. I just wanted to start this, and I'm so disappointed this is not an 11 count. <laughs> I was so counting on it being 11 count. I'm just glad it's stamped. Oh, yeah, because if it had been counted, it had been back in that bag in a heartbeat. Yeah. I'm not, no. Hmm. Not. I like stamped cross-stitch. Not stamped. Counted cross-stitch on my own terms where I got control. And I know where I'm going with this or that. And Yeah, I don't know. It, it just, It's in intimidating for me. It's just totally, totally intimidating. So, yeah. Oh, geez. This is going to take a hot, hot moment just thought I'd start here because see it doesn't it it looks like let me move this out of my like it's got whoops come back here like nice lines and rivets I think rivets ribbons of color so doesn't that look easy right there just go with one color do you know as much as you can and and just keep moving that background oh my gosh it's a beautiful color, but that background, oh my lord, there's a lot of it. So, I wish there was a way to kind of block off the whole thing so that it would never get wet. And then just put a color in here, like dye the background. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> uh, Got to do it. everything the hard way, I swear, I swear. Oh, my goodness. It was so nice yesterday. It was like, gosh, it had to have gotten up in the 60s. I was shocked. And the wind was really light, light, light. You barely knew it was there. Not a big deal. Yeah, compared to the day before. Or was that the, yeah, the day before, it was horrible. I didn't even want to open the door for anybody. And I doubt that there was anybody out with that wind blowing as hard as that was. Holy cow. All right, guys. Well, I think that that is going to be about it today. My arm's starting to hurt. And you really can't tell too much of what I got done. Can you see it on the background? Yeah, on the back of me. It'll be beautiful. Just gorgeous. I love that picture. It's just awesome. Alright guys, thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.